This is the instruction video of the casting machine. And uh, there are two casting machines here. And this casting machine is XZR3. And uh, this casting machine is XZR3A. The only difference uh, of these two casting machines is uh, the display of the ZR3 is the uh, uh, analog. And the display for this machine is the digital. Uh, now I will show you how to uh, test the machine. Uh, first, turn on the switch. And, uh, the test stage is uh, zero. Uh, turn to zero. Open the lid. And uh, do not put in crucibles. And uh, as you can see, here is the red line. The red line must be above the red dot. Close the lid. You can see the door and the position lights are both on. Now we can press melt. Uh, the three readings should be 120, 140 and uh, 4 ampere. Uh, if the readings are uh, at this three and uh, it means the uh, machine is okay. If the uh, vo voltage is 220 volts, uh, uh, first uh, turn on the switch. If the voltage is 220 volts, you have to turn to the third stage. Uh, the, this voltage should be about 180 volts, and this one zero, and uh, this one zero. Uh, open the lid. Now put in the crucible and uh, the casting ring and adjust the balance. First loosen this, uh, this screw and uh, adjust the balance. Because the, there are three sizes of the casting ring, big, medium and small, so you have to adjust the weight. Uh, before you put in different casting rings. And uh, this switch is to uh, leave the casting ring. Make sure the center of the casting ring is uh, pointed to the crucible. Uh, after that, uh, uh, you can see the red line must be about the red dot. The red line and the red dot. Okay, now you can close the lid. Uh, as you can see, the door and the position light are on. Uh, now you can press melt. Uh, the volt, the select voltage should be 180 degree uh, volt, and uh, this DC voltage should be 200 volts, and uh, this one should be uh, 10 ampere. After about one minute, uh, the uh, alloy inside the crucible should be melted. You can observe the state of the alloy through this window here. And after using the alloys uh, fully melted, you press this casting button. After five seconds, press stop, uh, and uh, the whole process is uh, finished. Now, now you can take out the take out the casting ring. And please uh, rotate the machine to this position because the air is coming out from here, uh, so it's good for the cooling. Now we will put in a crucible with the uh, alloy. The 
voltage should be 180, 200, and uh, 10 ampere. You can see the alloy is starting to melt. Uh, if you have many castings uh, uh, in one day, you, uh, after the five castings you, you make, uh, for the sixth casting you have to uh, rest the machine for two minutes before you uh, make another casting. Okay, that's all. After some time of use, sometimes the uh, the metal parts may touch each other. You have to uh, use a mirror to look inside and uh, see whether the the copper is touching each other. If uh, they are touching each other, there won't be any uh, ampere. Uh,